Hey YouTube, Satoshi Matrix here bringing you a brand new series. Ever since I started my YouTube channel in 2007, I've always wanted to talk about games and gaming related gear that I like. Attack of the Famiclones, The Adapter Factor, The Controller Chronicles, Fantastic Flashcards, and most recently Uncommon Game Showcase have been my attempts to spotlight the merits of non-mainstream gaming. This series, though, will strictly be focused on my personal favorite games. The games showcased in this series will be determined solely by how much I like them. Rarity, value, age, popularity, or any other factor are not considered for this list. The series will focus on um, a wide spectrum of games from my collection, both new and old, popular and obscure, common and very rare. To start things off, I want to talk about one of my favorite Xbox games. Dreamfall The Longest Journey, released in 2006 in the dying days of the original Xbox. I don't think a lot of people played this game because one, it's an adventure game, and two, it was for the Xbox and not the Xbox 360. Um, a very good game, and I'm going to be playing it, so let's get it going. Turn on the Xbox, take the disc. I am at the crossroads between waking and dream. One path leads back to the world I left behind. The other path... The other path leads to a place of shadows. Between the familiar and the unknown, between certainty and doubt, my choice would seem obvious. Any sane man would turn around, return to the world he knows, forget what he has learned, and live his life in blissful ignorance. But in truth, it is too late. My choice was made many years ago, when I first embarked on this journey. I cannot turn back. I am at a crossroads. But for me, there is only one path. I leave behind these words in the hope that someday they will serve as a map for someone else. To whomever reads this, Godspeed on your journey. If you ever decide to follow in my footsteps, look me up. Brian Westhouse. The 
Those are money wheels, imprinted with the mantra, Aum Mani Padme Hum. It's a blessing. They say that every story has a beginning and an end. That might be true in most cases. Sometimes, however, the two are one and the same. My name is Zoe Castillo. I don't usually look this pale, but that's what you get for being in a coma. That's my father, Gabriel. I'm all he's got in this world. My mother died 15 years ago and I don't have any siblings. I think he'll be very lonely when I'm gone. I wish I could have talked to him one last time, let him know that everything will be okay. But that would be a lie. The only thing I could have said is goodbye. Since I'm lying in that bed, but I'm talking to you from out here, I guess this is what they call an out-of-body experience. I'm not sure anyone can hear me, but I've had some experience with voices from the grave recently, so I'm giving it a shot. Bad things are happening, and everyone who knows the truth is either dead or has vanished off the face of the earth. If I can get through to someone, 
anyone. Maybe something can be done. So if you can hear me, please listen. This is very, very important. It might just be the most important thing ever. You'll have to forgive me for using the oldest cliche in the book. It all began when... the unfortunate cow to implode. Ryan? Mo, that's a spicy meatball. To err as human, to forgive is bovine. Ha, I'm running out of cow jokes here, people. Thanks, Diane. The static has been blamed for a chain collision this morning on the Crosstown Express, killing one person and injuring five. Witnesses say that a delivery truck lost wire contact and manual systems failed to take over, causing it to hit another vehicle. This accident coincides with a new report from CTU, claiming definitive evidence that the static is caused by heavy sunspot activity. The report has already come under fire from several... <laughs> Must be some kind of viral ad. Zoe, there's a message. My mobile's beeping. We've got a service that takes care of the house and the laundry but they only stop by once a week. So I have a thing for pillows. This is an automatic reminder sent by Shit, the gym. I have to hurry. Those clothes are clean, I think. Sorry. Dad, what are you still doing home? Having my coffee. Train's not leaving until one o'clock, so I thought I'd sleep in for a change. Train? What train? The train for Bombay. Bombay? Good Lord, Zoe. Did you forget already? We spoke about it on Tuesday. I'm going on a business trip to Bombay, remember? Oh, Bombay, right. I thought that was next... Oh, wait. It's today Thursday. How pathetic is that? I don't even know what day it is anymore. Well, at least you're up before noon. That's something. So, do you have any plans this morning? I mean, what's left of it? Um, I'm going to the gym. See? You still have passion for something. It's either that or scan the wanted ads and get depressed about all the jobs I don't qualify for. If you feel that way, why don't you go back to school? Dad, don't start. I'm sorry, Zoe, but you're obviously not happy here either. Change your major. Biotech's not the only thing Cape Town's got to offer. Hell, why not change university? I'll help you. In fact, Bombay's got a great school for bioengineering. I can stop by while I'm there. We've had this discussion already. Oh, I wish it was that easy. 
Don't you think I miss having direction and ambitions? Now I'm just... Oh, I just don't know what I want. Can you please understand that? I need time. Fine, I won't push. I'm happy to have you home, Zoe. I just hate to see you like this. So do I, Dad. So do I. Listen, Dad. Would you mind terribly if I had a few people over tonight? You're asking me if you can have a party. No, not a party. More like a, a soiree. Ah, oh, right. Uh, I'm guessing there won't be any boys or alcohol at the soiree? There definitely won't be any drugs. How's that? Hmm. You know how to put things into perspective, Zoe. All right. Well, did you ever need my permission anyway? I know how to play you, Dad. That's what daughters do. So, what's happening in Bombay? We're signing a contract with a new biotech outfit, and they need me to do another on-site evaluation. Oh, that sounds really, really boring. I thought you wanted to do more lab work. I did. I do. This is what happens when you get a promotion. Serves you right for having ambitions. So when are you coming back? I'm not actually sure. It could take a few days. It could be as much as two weeks. Really? Two weeks? I have the house to myself for... I, I mean, I have to be alone for two weeks. Yes. And we talked about this on Tuesday as well. Oh, sorry. My mind's just elsewhere. I'll say. Buy me something in Bombay. Something exotic. An alarm clock, maybe? Funny. I should hurry. I was supposed to be at the gym already. Have a nice trip, okay? So you don't know when you'll be back? No, but uh, call me if there's anything. I might not pick up corporation rules, but I'll call you back. I promise. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Be good, okay? Yeah, yeah. Dad doesn't like me going into his bedroom. And I can't say that I want to. Bye, Dad. Have a safe trip, okay? Dreamfall starts out in a futuristic version of Casablanca. in such a hurry. Hi Liv. I'm going to the gym and I'm running a bit late, so... Hey, listen. I've got something you should take a look at. You're not in a rush, are you? I can't be late again. John was going to lecture me about my lack of commitment. Okay, sweetie. Later. You really need to see this. Sure. I'll pop in after I'm done. Jog. Yep, well, I'm actually heading down to the gym for a quick workout before lunch. Hey, weren't you supposed to be there already? Yeah, I'm running a bit late. You should hurry. Jammer won't be happy. I know, I know. I'm on my way. All right, we'll see you there. Mocha Locker, my number one source of caffeine. Hey, what's up? Not much. I'm on my way to the gym. Again? I'm impressed. 
You're there almost every day, aren't you? I have a lot of time on my hands. Lucky you. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't feel particularly lucky. I just feel like I'm wasting time. I thought you were going back to, what was it, Cape Town University. I was. I might. I just don't know if school's the right thing for me at this point. That sounds pretty pathetic, doesn't it? I guess this is what they call going through a phase. At least, I hope it's just a phase. We all have those. You'll be fine. I hope so. Anyway, thanks, Karen. See you later. I see those two boys around all the time. Shouldn't they be in school? on time for a change. I know I'm late sometimes. I'm sorry. I don't want to waste your time. It's not just my time you're wasting, but also your own time. If your heart's not in it, Zoe, why bother? You're very talented, but talent matters little if you lack passion and commitment. I guess I just don't care as much about martial arts as I used to. It doesn't seem as important to me anymore. I want to be more passionate about it, but... Then maybe you should consider doing something else with your time. But let's leave it at that for now and get started on today's lesson. Ready? Go! <coughs> block, Zoe, <Jerry>, block! <coughs> No, I think I've had enough for today. Very well. We'll pick it up again tomorrow. And do try to be on time. is following me, I swear to God. And doesn't Jarma always keep that screen switched off? This is getting a bit freaky. And I think with that, um, I'll let you guys go and call this um, just the first video in what will be a long series. So if you want to see more about Dreamfall, um, make sure to check out GameSpot's um, video review here on YouTube. Um, this is a very awesome game that I think is very underappreciated. And, uh, and yeah, so anyway, I'll see you guys next time, so thanks for watching.